Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to talk about the Cumulus sleeping bags. They're a Polish brand. Um, we're going to talk about the pros and the cons. So I made this uh, video and I'm going to tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. I have these two sleeping bags. So one is mine and the other is my wife's. This is my bag. This is the X Lite 400. It's a, a size large and it comes in at 620 grams. This is my wife's bag. This is the Light Line 400. It's a size medium and this comes in at 760 grams. The X Lite 400 has 900 fill goose down inside. The fabric is a Torre Airtastic fabric. It's supposed to be, according to them, one of the lightest fabrics on the market. The temperature ratings are the comfort temperature goes to minus one, the limit temperature goes to minus seven, and the extreme temperature goes to minus 25. In this next clip, I will show you the main issue I have with the bag. A few moments later. So as you saw in the clip, the main issue I have is with the zipper. This is a YKK zipper. It's a three millimeter zipper, uh, but um, I have tried everything, but I just can't get it open smoothly or close it smoothly. Always the fabrics gets in between and the zipper gets stuck. As you see now in this next movie, what will happen just to be clear, I did not do this on purpose. So here you see the fabric is really stuck in between the zipper. So now you can see clearly what happened. I just tried to open it smoothly, but it didn't work, so I had to put a little bit pressure and force on it. So this is what happens. It is really a shame. I think it's a combination of the fabric that is maybe too thin and the sturdiness of the zipper. I don't know, but I would choose a different zipper if I would order the back again. The solution to this problem is, like I said, is changing the zipper. How can you do that is when you order a bag, let it be custom made and then you can change the zipper into a five millimeter zipper. The weight difference on this is only 20 grams, but I think it's worth it to change the zipper to a five millimeter. Also, when you let the bag be custom made, you can change, for example, the width, the length, the color, the color from inside, the color from outside, fill it with more down in certain places. Like if you have cold feet, you can stuff more down into the foot box or overfill the complete bag with more down. It's up to you. You have many, many options if you uh, customize the bag. A feature that I like on the bag is the double zipper. So there's two zippers, like you see here. It's one on the bottom, you can open it just when you're warm and you need some ventilation, you can open it and let some air flow through it. And here I'm going to show you how thin this fabric really is. It's almost see-through. And okay, it's a little bit fragile, but this is how they save weight. Now, do I like the bag? Mm, in the beginning, I was really excited because of the weight. Uh, 620 grams, it was really lightweight. But would I buy it again? I don't think so. I will keep on using it, but only in dry environments. The last time I took it out, it, I was in the Alps. 
and it was summertime so it got really moist inside the tent and what happened is um, the bag also got really wet I think the fabric is so thin it doesn't really repel much water of the two bags it was always my bag that always got wet and even the down inside got clawed up a little bit so I would not recommend taking it out in moist conditions. Now on to my wife's bag. This is the Light Line 400. The fabric is a Pertex Quantum. It's 29 grams the square yard. It's 850 fill down inside. And this has the 5 mm YKK zipper. As you've seen in the clip, it's a difference between how I closed my bag and how I closed this bag. It's really a huge difference. So that's why I recommend the five millimeter zipper and not the three millimeter zipper. This is a size medium. As you can see, it's a little bit too small for me. It weighs in at 760 grams. I had it overstuffed with some extra down because the wife is always cold. So that's why it weighs a little bit more, uh, as you can find on the website. Also, it has this double end zipper. This is a zipper that is 175 centimeters long. And I prefer also the long zipper. It comes also as a, at the cost of weight, but you can take out the feet completely when it's warm, ventilate, you know, there are many more options than you have the half zipper. The temperature rating on this bag is zero degrees. It's a comfort temperature. The limit temperature is minus six and the extreme temperature is minus 22. This is also different than on the website. And this is due to I had the bag overstuffed with some extra down. Another option with the long zipper is you can open the zipper completely to the bottom and then you can use it more as a blanket slash quilt if it's, it's really warm you just can lay it over you and it's more versatile like this here you see the difference between the two bags you can see clearly this is a little thicker fabric so this is where the weight difference comes from now, which of the two bags do I prefer? I prefer the second bag, the Lightline 400. I think in general it's better made. Um, first of all, the zipper, the 5mm zipper, I prefer it. Also the length of the, of the zipper, it's more versatile. The fabric, I know it's thicker fabric than the x Light 400. It comes at a weight cost, I know that also. But like I said before, her back was always bone dry and mine was always wet. So in that situation, I prefer to have a sleeping bag that is dry instead of a sleeping bag that is always wet. Now we are at the end of the video. This is my view on the Cumulus sleeping bags. If you have any comments, please place them below in the comment section. If you like the video, you can give it a thumbs up. And if you don't like the video, give it a thumbs down. Thank you.